so welcome back beautifully belly here with another video before i get started i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has stopped by my channel watched the video left the thumbs up a comment or decided to subscribe thank you thank you thank you for all the love and all the support i want to say hey to all my old subscribers and hey boo to all my new ones Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. The choice is up to you. All right. So hopefully I won't have any more interruptions. I have filmed this video about three times. Every time I start filming, somebody ringing my phone, opening my dough, something or the other. So I have now put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And everyone in my house knows that I'm recording. So I should not have any more interruptions, hopefully. All right, now that that is said, let's jump into this video. Today's video is going to be my teen pregnancy story, unfortunately. Disclaimer, I do not recommend anybody become a teen. I mean, <laughs> I don't recommend anybody become a parent as a teenager. It's super duper hard. It makes your life a whole lot harder than it has to be. And um, yeah, nine times out of 10, you're probably not going to be with that person. And lastly, if you're a teenager, I'm not talking about 18, 19. They're still babies to me. But when you're 15, 16, 17, you know, 14, 13, too young to have a baby. You just don't have all the faculties in order to do it by yourself. Okay, now that I got that out the way, let's jump into the story. All right, so anybody who has paid attention to anything um, that I've said in regards to my children, everybody should know that I have a 20-year-old, okay? And everybody should know that I'm 38. My son will be 21 this year in August. So 38 minus 20, you know, it's a 17-year difference between my son and I. So I became a teen parent at 17, okay? Um, all right. So 16, I ended up getting pregnant. Um, it was weird because I was working. Like, I started working when I was 15. I worked my whole entire pregnancy. Um, I was working at Burger King. That's why I can't eat that food now because the smell of it makes me sick because I smelled so much of it during pregnancy. Um, yeah, I was in high school. I think I was in 10th grade and a lot of people were shocked that I was even pregnant because a lot of people thought that I was a lesbian <laughs> and um, in high school because at one point I dressed in a lot of sweatsuits. Um, I wore, you know, sneakers. I played basketball. I told you guys this. So, you know what I'm talking about, the type of athletic wear. Um, and I did have a tendency Back in the day in high school, and I still have this tendency now, it's always been my thing. I go from dressing like a time boy to being a real girly girl. So I go back and forth. Um, not that I act like a man. I just, you know, dress like a man. So I'll wear some stuff. Anyway, so that's been my whole MO, my whole life. So a lot of people thought that I was a lesbian because of the way I dress. So a lot of people were very, very shocked that I was pregnant in school, and I kind of hid it for a while. But that's not the only person I hit it from. I hit it from my grandma, okay? So the issue with being pregnant around this time was one, my age was the biggest problem. But two, my other two cousins was pregnant at the same time. We literally got pregnant back to back to back. Like all of our kids were born in the same year. One of our kids was born in February. One of our kids was born in July. And then my baby was born in October. So they, they're back to back to back for real in real life. So um, how did I think that I was pregnant? I'm trying to remember. I remember going to school and coming home. And I remember I used to take these naps when I came home. And I remember I was laying down and I would have this really bad pain in my pe pelvic area. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, why am I having all this pain? Now, I had a lot of problems as a teenager um, in regards to my reproductive organs and things like that. So they thought initially I couldn't have kids. So right off the bat, I didn't think that I was pregnant. 
Um, and my period was always in, in, irregular. So, you know, that wasn't an indication for me either. So anyway, I remember having these real, real bad pelvic pains. Um, like my bones was hurting really, really bad. So I decided to make an appointment at the women's center at my grandma's shop. Yes, at 16, at 15, I was taking my own self to the doctor. Um, so I made an appointment. Now, did y'all hear me say I made an appointment at the women's center at my grandma's job? My grandma used to work at Germantown Hospital in Philadelphia. So they had a women's center and that's where I went. So I go there and I'm telling them what's going on. Um, and I'm like, yeah, they're like, do you think you're pregnant? And I'm like, no. And, you know, they're asking me about any type of sexual activity, this and the other, blah, blah, blah. I tell them, what, you know, whatever the case may be. So it's like, okay, we're going to test you to see if you're pregnant. Lo and behold, I end up pregnant. I'm like, oh my gosh. Now I got to go home and tell my grandma that I'm pregnant. After, you know, my other two cousins got pregnant. I already saw her reaction to that. How did I end up turning around, getting pregnant too? And now I got to deal with it. So I had asked the women's center. I said, listen, please do not tell my grandma that I'm pregnant. Please do not tell her. I will tell her. I promise you I will tell her that I'm pregnant. I just need a little time. Please don't tell her. So the women's center said they wouldn't tell her. And at that time, we didn't have the HIPAA law, but we had another law where, like, say if my grandma would have called, like, yeah, my granddaughter went to the doctor today. What happened? They couldn't tell her. So I asked them not to tell her. And I remember having to get on the bus. We lived, now, Germantown Hospital was, like, in West Oak Lane. We lived all the way up the northeast, near the northeast airport. So that was, like, a couple hours ride home. So I get on the bus and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I got to tell my grandma I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm freaking out and I get home and I don't say a word. <laughs> I didn't say a word. My grandma was like, well, what happened at your appointment? I was like, they just said I had a pelvic infection. You know, whatever the case may be, blah, 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 blah. That was pretty much it. So I let a whole week go by before I even told my grandma that I was pregnant, but I knew that she had a suspicion because my grandma knew my menstrual cycle better than I did, okay? So she was like, you have anything that you want to tell me? I'm like, no. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yep. She's like, um, because my grandma used to buy all my stuff. So she was like, yeah, I noticed that you didn't need any feminine products this month was going on I said oh oh yeah um well I have to tell you something but I don't want you to get mad right there I know she knew my grandma knew every time I was pregnant I'm not gonna lie every time sometimes she knew before me okay so I was like uh I don't want you to be upset but um yeah when I went to the doctor last week I found out that I was pregnant Oh my God. Oh my God. She went off. She went off. She was so upset. She didn't talk to me for a whole entire month. A whole entire month. Because I had already made up my mind that I was careless enough to get pregnant. So I'm going to woman up and take care of my responsibility. Remember at this time that I was working. I worked my whole entire pregnancy. So I said... I put myself in this situation. I am going to have to deal with it myself. So I just saved up my little money every time I got paid. I would buy diapers. I would buy, you know, a bassinet or baby clothes. Whatever it is that I needed, that I knew I was going to need. I bought those bottles, all that good stuff. So my grandma didn't talk to me for a month. And, um... Yeah, she was really upset. She was like, you know, like, you ruined your future... You are supposed to be a lawyer. Do you think you're going to be a lawyer now? She was just really, really upset. And I get it because I felt like if one of my kids were to get pregnant 
noun or get somebody pregnant, it would, you know, it wouldn't be the best, the best choice right now. Um, so yeah, I, I, I did what I had to do. I made up my mind that it didn't matter to me whether or not the person was going to be there. I was going to do what I needed to do as a parent. And I did that. Um, yeah, being a teen parent was really, really hard. I'm not going to sit up here and say I didn't have support. I did. My grandma helped me tremendously just by letting me and my son stay with her and, you know, doing extra stuff. Um, but she even paid for his daycare because my son, the high school that I went to, we had a daycare center and my grandma paid for daycare. So I didn't have to drop out of school. Oh, I skipped the part. Okay. I was pregnant in 10th grade. And I had missed my whole 11th grade year because, um, oh God, not my whole 11th grade year. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, it was 11th grade. I had my son when I was going into 11th grade. So I missed my whole 11th grade year. I went to night school that whole year. And then I went back to day school. So I could graduate with my class because a lot of people thought I dropped out. I wasn't coming back to school, things like that. And because people were so happy that I returned because I always had a close knit of friends, a couple of these people would meet me at the bus stop to help me with my son get to school safely. So I was just thankful um, for all the support that I did have. And I also had to give support to my little cousin, Danique, the one who was one of my first babies, I had to give her a lot of support because she helped me a lot during this time. I was helping them. She was helping me. She would get home. Um, she would get off the bus and I would basically meet her at the bus, pass my baby to her. She would walk home with them and I would go head to school. So I just wanted to give my cousin her props because she did help me a lot um, with with my son. So yeah. That was my teen pregnancy story. I do not recommend anybody getting pregnant 